Financial calamities can trigger massive government assistance. So can natural disasters, sometimes with curious timing, as the team from The Fast Draw, Josh Landis and Mitch Butler, now take note. Natural disasters are acts of God. The government's response is the work of man. Floods, fires, and killer storms strike every year. If the damage is bad enough, the president declares a disaster, and money begins to flow. There's a complex formula to determine who gets what. But a strange thing happens in presidential election years. The official number of disasters goes up. The data comes straight from FEMA's website. It has detailed information going back more than 50 years. Since 1953, there have been more than 1,700 federally declared disasters. Some years have fewer, some have more. In non-election years, the average number is about 30. But if you look at the years in which presidents were running for re-election, the average spikes. It goes up 33% to an average of 40 disasters per year. There may be more at work here than Mother Nature. For example, in 2003, there was serious flooding in Iowa. Four counties suffered $4 million in damages. There was no presidential race that year. No federal disaster was declared. But in 2004, which was an election year, three counties suffered less damage, $3.4 million worth. President Bush, up for re-election, declared the counties federal disaster areas. And the phenomenon appears to be bipartisan. The record number of official disasters for a single year came when Bill Clinton was running for his second term in office. In a statement, FEMA said the very nature of disasters, their unique circumstances, the unexpected timing and varied impacts, precludes a complete listing of factors considered when evaluating disaster declaration requests. There's no evidence any rules were broken, no proof of a double standard. But when it comes to presidents and extreme weather, the numbers suggest that not all natural disasters are created equal.